Hey everyone, and in this video I just have to start off by asking the question, where has people's self-respect gone? Now you're seeing a clip playing in the background, it's a short clip of a Sky interview taking place at the carnival and in typical fashion these days, whenever somebody knows a camera is on and they're recording, whether it be on a phone or in this case a proper news broadcaster in Sky, you have just attention-seeking idiots who just want to act an extra fool. And I have to be truthful here, this seems to be mostly exhibited, mostly seen in our women. Now, I kind of blame this on the social media era and how it sort of branched these, you know, social media attention seeking idiots. Because while social media does have its benefits, it doesn't half showcase the intellectual capability of our people at times as well. Let's be truthful. I mean, I remember back in the days that whenever you had a camera on you, or, or so I say when you knew you actually had a camera recording, you would actually act in a more dignified way. You would dress proper, you'll try and speak proper, you'll do things which will actually show yourself to be at least uh, put your best foot forward as opposed to acting like a normal fool because we all knew that this would be something that would be likely obviously recorded and saved and played for years to come depending on who was recording or what the nature of the recording was about. Now people did still act a fool, I'm not going to lie, but it was, there were lines that we knew not to cross because we knew exactly the ramifications of all my days, not only have up my other, you know, maybe peer group have seen it at the time, but it's recorded for other people to see it who we don't even know um, for years and generations to come. Well, <laughs> that kind of sense has gone out the window for sure these days because as you're seeing in the background in the clip, you had one particular woman who didn't even seem to care that she was acting an extra fool, so much so that her wardrobe had a malfunction. And <laughs> she even came back, if that even wasn't embarrassing enough. You know, after you've had that kind of incident, you'll be like, walk off and just don't don't come back nope she came right back as if nothing ever took place now clearly she got what she wanted her 30 seconds of fame if you want to call it at best and my question is at what cost exactly these things are going to be forever remembered forever recorded this video is here as a serve as a reminder and <laughs> she doesn't even look like a child but in fact what i'd even wager that she probably does have a child and you have to also look at the impact on other people. This is why I don't understand why people act so much like an idiot. Because imagine being her child and going to school and having the whole school remind you of this incident day by day by day by day from the actions of your stupid mother. How embarrassing would that be? I know for me that would be embarrassing. For most people it would be embarrassing. But nowadays, again, <laughs> the question is, where has people's self-respect gone? You also have to look at the other incident. There's been so many incidents to be fair. But this one I'm talking about is where you had people climbing and dancing on top of a bus stop as if that was even a good idea and the obvious took place it collapsed on its on themselves and they all went down and i think they had a lot of injuries but i don't think thankfully no one died but you just have to see the sheer levels of stupidity that exists purely because everyone is looking to act up as a fool in front of the cameras and trying to have their 30 seconds to go viral or start some stupid trend it's all something so stupid and to, f to end off, i got to say this. I can't even lay this at the feet of the younger generation because looking at the images, these people look old enough, big enough, and ugly enough to know better. And at least from a time where they knew, okay, once cameras are on, we should act a little bit better. But nope, here they are. So the question is, <laughs> what chance do the younger generation even have knowing all of that? Absolutely none.